three T's were high on the G8's agenda. Trade, tax and transparency. The leaders represent just over half a near $72 trillion global economy. British Prime Minister David Cameron says they made progress in all three areas. We launched negotiations on the biggest bilateral trade deal in history. We agreed a lock earn declaration that has the potential to rewrite the rules on tax and transparency for the benefit of countries right across the world. All the leaders are facing economic challenges at home. They urged Japan to press ahead with reforms to tackle its budget deficit and the Eurozone to work on its banking union. But the biggest topic for summit chair Britain was taxation. Cameron's been stung by revelations that big multinationals like Starbucks and Google have cut their corporate tax bills in Britain using legal loopholes. He's announced new domestic rules to combat tax evasion by forcing shadowy shell companies to reveal who really runs them. He insisted the G8 agreement would make a difference. Have a look at this declaration. The tax authorities across the world automatically share information that companies should know who owns them. Tax collectors and law enforcers should be able to get this information uh, easily. Extractive companies should report payments to all governments and governments should publish all that income uh, open and clearly. However, for now, the US isn't doing any more than pressing for legislation. Lawmakers and analysts warn it will take time to fight tax avoidance. Michael Ingram is from BGC Partners. Many of these tax codes have ballooned over recent years, uh, and I'm thinking of, particularly in uh, jurisdictions such as the US, where there are so many exemptions. If you've got smart uh, tax lawyers, if you've got smart accountants, you can avoid paying pretty much any tax at all. I was looking at the numbers uh, last week, and, 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 the, and the corporate tax take in the US is the lowest since records began in 1947. It's only 1.5%. Even though the G8 hasn't come up with firm action to fight tax evasion, it's likely to remain on world leaders' agendas, as long as budget deficits remain high and growth remains low.